Hello, my name is Guy Baker and I am a solutions consultant at Beyond 20. Today we would like to introduce you to the Beyond 20 method of creating table-driven quick tickets for ShareWell service management. Before we begin, I would like to define the term quick ticket as it relates to ShareWell service management. A quick ticket is simply a way for the customer or technician to create a service request or incident by clicking on a single link in either the customer portal or the technician client of ShareWell. The resulting incident or service request will be fully categorized based on service category and subcategory and have predefined priority, default description, short description, and also can be assigned to a specific team. Additional features of the Beyond 20 table-driven approach to quick tickets include the ability to run a quick close command for tickets that are resolved on the first touch of the ticket. Traditionally, ShareWell implementations have required a separate one step to be created and maintained quick ticket the organization required. If the requirements changed, the one steps and dashboards containing them had to be modified, often requiring a blueprint update to the system. With table driven quick tickets, all of the information for each quick ticket is contained in the incident subcategory table. Tickets for the customer utilize preset expressions and generic one steps rather than unique one steps for each button on the dashboard. So when you update the table data, the portal is updated without publishing a new blueprint. Likewise, the service desk agents may either access the quick tickets from inside a new incident or select them from a dashboard containing a table-driven quick ticket action catalog. So let's begin exploring the Beyond 20 table-driven quick tickets. Our basic setup comes with four predefined buttons for quick tickets on our portal. These buttons have a title, an image, and a one step that's predefined by the data that's in the incident subcategory table. When you change that data, you change what you see on these buttons on the portal. You also change how a ticket is created. The customer simply needs to click on any one of the quick ticket buttons to create an incident that is already pre-filled. They can also edit the ticket before they submit it. And once it's submitted, it will be assigned to the predefined default team for that quick ticket. Editing the layout of the portal quick tickets is as easy as changing the quick ticket ranking in the incident subcategory table, ranking the items left to right, one through four. To change the content of a quick ticket button on the customer portal, simply log into the ShareWell Rich Client or Blue Pill as an administrator and access table management from the tools menu. Then select the incident subcategory table and then sort the list by quick ticket rank. And I like to sort it in inverse order so you can see the four quick tickets that you have on your portal at the top of the list. Now you can only have one of each number. So if you'd like to change, let's say we wanna change mobility services number two here, and we wanna swap that out with something, we're gonna to have to go into mobility services first and make that one a zero. and then save. And now we can go back to our list and we can select any other item that we like to take its place. So let's just say that we decide we want to swap out uh, the mobilities for the incident VPN issue. So now we're going to go in here and we know we have number two slot is open. We also need to make sure that we select an icon for the button. And the best buttons right now are that are that come built in are in the self-service icons under the portal menu collaboration or under service catalog icons. So the service catalog icons are in white. They're a little bit hard to see, 
but we just are going to look for one that has something to do with network. So we'll go ahead and select this one. It looks like it's network services. We'll click OK on that. That looks pretty good there. We already have all the information we have here. So we have our short description. We have our default description. We have categorization already set. We don't have a default team though. So we're gonna go ahead and select the default team. And then we make sure we have our default priority, which is already set. And then this is coming from our portal. So we'll change that to default source of portal. And make our default cause an outage. Okay, so once we have everything looking good here, we have everything set, we're going ahead and we're going to click the update portal quick ticket button. And this will store all of our values for our quick ticket buttons on the portal. And then when we go back to refresh our portal, we should see the new values. Once the internet information services has been restarted and you refresh the portal view, you will see now that we now have, instead of mobility issues, we have VPN issues as our number two button. And all we had to do was change the data in the table management for the incident subcategory table. If you would like more information about utilizing the Beyond 20 approach to table-driven quick tickets for your Sharewell customer portal, please contact us by sending an email to info at beyond20.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel on the link below.